Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of Total War Arena. So uh, today I have been grinding uh, through the tier 7 Legion of Caval Cavalry trying to get towards the uh, Italian nobles, the tier 8 Roman Cavalry. Um, I've basically got them fully upgraded now, got a very nice, uh, very nice plumage on their hats. Um, I've got all the, the weapon upgrade, the shield upgrade, I've gone with the, um, the, the movement speed armour. Uh, slightly less defense, but increased movement speed uh, compared to increased de uh, defense and charge and turn speed. Um, so it's just a choice you have, basically. Um, but now we're just grinding through towards tier 8, so I thought we'll just join me for a game and we'll have a bit of a go and see how we get on uh, with sort of the fully upgraded Legion recovery. Hopefully, over the next few days, I'll get these guys finished off. Um, and then we can have a look at the Italian nobles. Uh, I'm kind of keen to get onto the Italian nobles. They've got really strong attack because they move on to being sword cavalry. So that could be interesting. But without further ado, I'll uh, put an edit point in here and I'll see you in the battle. Ah, c'est chaud. C'est chaud. So we're loading into the Battle of Thermopylae. Uh, pretty decent matchmaking. I'm top tier. There's a couple of tier fives, some sixes in there. Um, I'm provisionally. I'm going to have a look, just pushing straight up this road to the north. Um, if I wasn't top tier, I'd be a bit more nervous about this because you never, you don't often get any much support around here. But you can sometimes catch out some cavalry around here, and if we sort of catch some lower tier cavalry, it could be a nice early start to the game, and then we can push down uh, around the back of this cat point, which can sometimes pan out quite well. Uh, but we'll see how we get on. A nice matchmaking and a nice map. I quite like Thermopylae. So I want to get going straight away. Um, just get moving immediately. And we'll move up to this point here. I normally go on this mound here. Um, technically there's a little bit of a risk in the sense that... I should be on the road, not in the forest. Um, in the sense that you could be outflanked and trapped if you've got two, two forces coming either side. But the only thing that will be quick enough to really do that would be your Barbarian Cavalry. And given I'm top, kid, top tier... Uh, I'm not really too worried about Barbarian Cavalry, um, Blood Riders, if, if I encountered Blood Riders then I do, I'm, I'm, I think I can fight my way out of that situation without too much trouble. So we'll have a look as we round this corner if we see anything, doesn't look like it, so I'll push up to the edge of this ledge here, we get some sights on here. So it's some foot companions, um, what have we got moving up, we've got some tier 7 infantry moving up. So this is interesting, obviously I've been spotted, I should have, should have perhaps moved a little earlier so I didn't get spotted. Obviously they could conceivably come and try and trap me down here by pushing around this edge of the uh, edge of the hill here. But we've got some swordsmen moving up, but they're not that they're really doing a lot um, in terms of vast aggression. It would be a lot more helpful if these guys could push up. Oops, don't go that way. Uh, so we've got these guys pushing down the hill and these guys here. 
Um, I'm trying to. It'd be nice if this guy could sort of get engaged in a fight. If we can engage them, I can get immediately behind them, and, and that'll be that. Um, without sort of forcing a fight, it makes things a little bit harder. There's other these guys still up here. They're probably waiting on the ledge, getting visibility on me. Obviously, I'm also conscious of the fact that uh, I'm not contributing, and I'm a top tier person at the moment. So all this sort of hanging around is not very helpful. These guys obviously don't want to force a fight. Let's see if we can make this corner. Oh, that's probably a bit risky. Probably a bit risky. Probably a bit risky. Let's get out of there. Oops, we've got one man. One man who's a bit slow. I don't know what these guys think they're doing, really. I, I think I'm just going to leave them, to be honest. Just If they're just going to take so long. Um, which is obviously what makes it hard. Yeah. We're just going to leave those guys. Um, they're not doing anything. They just seem to be taking ages. And I think we can do more down here. So there's an awful lot of archers defended by a handful of phallicsmen down here. There's quite the fight going on down here. There's some routed companion cavalry, the tier 5 uh, Greek cavalry, I think, companions. And some Spartan hoplites at the bottom. Obviously, as soon as we crest this hill here, we're going to get spotted. Those phallicsmen are obviously pushing down the hill, which is good for us. But we're going to have quite an open piece of ground to cross before we get... Uh, uh, towards these archers, and we're going to be quite vulnerable in that stretch. So, so some uh, these guys are pushing up, which is interesting. An error on their part, I must say. We'll get a nice early charge off to kind of clip those units. Make sure we stop before we uh, hit the cliff. We don't want to lose too many men doing that. So I want to just try and get these units dead ASAP. Let's get on these guys. Uh, if those archers are just going to shoot at each other, that's obviously better for me. I'm, I'm you know, happy for that to happen. Uh, 12 seconds to my charge refills. Let's try and fill this, these guys off, taking a little bit of friendly fire there. Um, I don't know why my friendly archers are just shooting into me. Yeah, a bit of artillery strike landing down there. Obviously trying to get me. Uh, try to catch up with these guys. We obviously... Oh, don't stop. Obviously struggle a little bit in forests. Because we're quite slow. The Roman cavalry aren't quick at the best of times. We could try and see if we're in range now for a charge. Let's have a go because we're being uh, artillery, which obviously isn't exactly preferable. Uh, let's just quickly activate a war choir. We want one of these guys to rout is what I want to happen and just finish them off quickly. Let's use these guys rout. They should die. So they have. So let's get moving. We want to get away from this artillery as soon as possible. So, I think we're going to go and have a look, see what this artillery is defended by. Um, we're starting to lose this game, it's starting to tip against us a little bit. And this artillery is a pain. Whether it's obviously how many spikes it's got defending it, etc. Um, determines if we're really going to be able to do a lot. We are obviously losing base cap, but I'm not going to be able to get back in time. Because I'm absolutely miles away. Um, so we might as well just see if we can rack up a little bit of damage before the end of the game. Not a particularly great game, this one, uh, to be honest. Now, well, I'll have a go at a unit of Principes, if that's the only thing defending this artillery. Certainly, we should be of sufficient... Uh, get a nice early charge in to pick up plenty of momentum. Like that. Which is good, it's what we want. We'll now see if we can get these guys to rout. Obviously, we'll activate. We're going to rout, but we're going to lose base capture, which is obviously going to... Uh, Reduce its effect. Oh, they're going down to two. <laughs> I'm surprised. I kind of would have expected them to route that, but there we go. But we have lost anyway. We would have been able to take out that artillery. Um, we would have been beating that one unit of Principes, but obviously not enough actually to make it enough of a difference to get the kill. I think that uh, if we're sort of analysing that game properly, I think um, I spent far, far, far too long at the beginning being indecisive. Um, I probably will leave this clip in. I was thinking about redoing this because obviously it's not a particularly great uh, example of gameplay there. I, I, if I hadn't have spent so long trying to think about those um, phallicsmen, those pikemen, and actually had just left them, since we had those those tier 7 uh, Romans with us who were trying, I think they were trying to flank these pikemen, but the problem is they're such a slow unit. Um, it wasn't very effective and I wasted a lot of time being a top tier unit. Uh, milling around that bit near the top of the map. If I just pulled down and gone straight for those archers that were by the cap point uh, in, the, in the middle, right at the start, that would have been a much more effective move. So I think hesitation was my failure there, um, and consequently the battle was already lost by the time I decided that those tier 6 pikemen weren't a threat to me, 
and um, you know we'd already missed my opportunity to make a difference by them. So uh, thanks for watching. It's going to be quite a short video. That wasn't a particularly long game. Um, I'm going to keep up the grind to getting towards the tier eight. I might do a bit of streaming over the next day or two, uh, which could be interesting. But thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you on the next episode.